Hi, this is Denise Estrada, and you're watching True School Sports. All right, thank It's personal between me, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, if you guys hear any background noise, that's just the rain here in South Florida. You know, it's kind of like South Florida's like a it's like a moody woman. You know, one one minute it's sunny, the next minute it's dark, the next minute you know, wet weather's all over the place here. But anyway. I wanted to talk about the heavyweight division, and particularly Daniel Dubois. You know, I'm a Daniel Dubois. I like Daniel Dubois. I'm a fan of his. Apparently, he's a fan of the channel. So hopefully, you know, shout out to Daniel Dubois. And, and, and I, you know, I always have fun talking about his career. You know, he's fresh off that win back in June when he when he uh, won the he won the fight for freedom and peace in the Ukraine. He won he won the fight for freedom and peace in the Ukraine when he knocked out Charles Bryan. I believe it was in the fourth round. And uh, was it the fourth round? I don't even remember. I think it might have been the fourth or the fifth. But uh, he knocked him out, won the WBA regular title. And, um, you know, ever since then, his career has been going through it. You know, um, first first and foremost, Don King allegedly didn't pay him. So they had to kind of like hound Don King to get the money out of him. That was number one. Then there were talks about a fight with Dillian White. That never materialized. So, you know, that, that isn't happening. Then, most recently... He was supposed to fight, or they were trying to organize a fight between him and Lucas Brown. Lucas Brown, who won a fight against Junior Fa, and it was you know a foul infested performance where, where there was a lot of rabbit rabbit punching to the back of the head. Um, and thankfully, and shout out again to the British Boxing Board of Control, who, who haven't allowed Conor Ben to fight a weight training sixty percent Chris Eubank Jr. But now they also weren't going to sanction Lucas Brown versus Daniel Dubois because when I first heard that Daniel Dubois was trying to fight Lucas Brown, my initial thought was this fight should not even be sanctioned. And they read my mind and they, and they did the right thing. So there's that. And now uh, the fight, the, the next fight that they're looking at um, is, and th and this, this is where we're at now, is uh, Daniel Dubois potentially taking on the number, what is he, 13? The number 13 ranked WBA contender, Kevin Lorena from South Africa, South Africa's very own Kevin Lorena. Now, I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to uh, act like I know a lot about Kevin Lorena. I don't. Um, I don't know a whole lot about him. Um, but apparently, he's beating Marius Vak. That, that, that's probably like the most, one of the most notable resume, uh, names in his resume. Marius Vak and Bogdan Dino. He, he, he outboxed Marius Vak, he stopped Bogdan, Bogdan Dino. And that's really it. So this would be a massive step up for Kevin Lorena. You know, I think on paper this looks like a, a, a better fight slightly than you know what, 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 what we would have got with uh, Lucas Brown. So you know, I'm not mad at it. You know, we're, we're at a point in boxing where if, uh, if a fighter can stay active um, against a top 10, top 15 guy, then then by all means go ahead and do it because um, you know Dubois he's still like the wild card of this division as far as the the next generation is concerned. Um, he has the size, he has the physicality, the power. He has a, a, a lot of positive attributes going in his direction. And um, it's just all about, you know, Shane McGuigan and the fine folks over there harnessing what he has and getting the best out of him. And so far, they've been able to do that uh, twice in America, you know, once against uh, Charabine and once against uh, somebody else on the Jake Paul undercard. So, you know, um, I, I really want Dubois to, to, to get back in the fold because he, he's kind of been like the forgotten man. A lot of people are talking about, like, Joe Joyce and now that he beat Dubois. They're talking about Hergovic. Um, they're talking about, you know, um, just the other guys. And I, I remember a time not so long ago where Daniel Dubois was the most talked about prospect in heavyweight boxing. And now guys like Jared Anderson, um, Joe Joyce, Hergovic, um, and these kind of guys, they've kind of taken some of his shine away for good, bad, or indifferent. And now it's up to him to go out there and, and do that. And, like, I don't think beating Kevin Lorena by itself will do that for him because Kevin Lorena isn't, like, a, 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 a really well-known heavyweight. But it, it, it would be a, a step in the right direction because it will allow him to stay active, continue to work on his overall fight game. And then um, hopefully when we get to 2023, we can look at Daniel Dubois um, mixing it up with, with bigger names. You know, I, I still hope for his sake that he can, he can land that Dillian White fight because 
Dillian White versus Daniel Dubois is a massive fight in the UK, and I think it's a really good fight for the heavyweight division. And it's a fight where, you know, him taking on a guy that's challenged for the world title, a guy that's, you know, been up there in the heavyweight division, that's the kind of fighter that um, he needs to be in there with to, to, to go on to the next level. Because uh, there's only so long Dubois can have before uh, people ask him to fight someone who's truly, truly elite. So I feel like, you know, Kevin Lorena, Dillian White, and then granted that he can win those two fights, you know, hopefully a big fight in 2023. You know, um, I, personally, I would like to see him fight Otto Valin because Otto Valin is a guy that was supposed to fight Dillian White. He's won three or four fights since losing to Tyson Fury and proven himself to be one of the better heavyweights in this weight class, but nobody's beaten him or, or wanted to really challenge him since the Tyson Fury fight. So I think that fight would be great because he's a tall, uh, Valin's an Olympian, South Paul, uh, been in there with Tyson Fury, has good experience. You know, there's options out there. You know, he may not be able to get those Furies and those Hergoviches and those Joyces and, and them kind of guys right away. Um, but, you know, as far as like, you know, Otto Valin, Dillian White, Martin Bacoli, you know, even like a Joseph Parker, uh, Michael Hunter, these kind of guys, I think all those all those fights for Daniel Dubois could all happen next year. Um, I would love that Bacoli one as well because Martin Bacoli is someone that uh, he's picking up a lot of good wins in the heavyweight division and he looks like to be one of the, the better heavyweights in the division that, that's not a champion, you know, so uh, a lot of options for Daniel Dubois, but it looks like right now the option that they're looking at is South African heavyweight Kevin Lorena, so um, we'll definitely be following Daniel Dubois' career as progresses, but let me know what you guys think. What do you make of Daniel Dubois versus Kevin Lorena? And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.